Hello and welcome to today's episode. Today I'm going to show you the defibrillator which is located inside the hospital room. The defibrillator is a piece of equipment that may be required in case of an emergency such as if a person has had a heart attack. So this piece of equipment is very easily accessed inside the hospital room where you would need to take the person who needs to uh, have the uh, defibrillation so you will take him inside the uh, hospital room and you will provide him uh, with the shocks required so let's go inside the hospital room and have a look in the proper use of the defibrillator the defibrillator is located inside this box here on some vessels you may have an alarm when you remove the when you open the door the alarm may be activated so i'm going to open it and remove the defibrillator device which is the main unit which is here and this is ready basically to use and I will take its battery to and I will demonstrate out the operation uh, cardiovascular diseases are just as common among seafarers as they are of the rest of the population in the world Cardiovascular diseases is an umbrella term of the heart-related conditions such as stroke, hypertension or heart attack which is the myocardial infraction. For many seafarers out there, smoking, the way of life, the drinking of alcohol uh, are the factors such as uh, boredom or stress that contribute to have such uh, uh, cardiovascular diseases. So, in regards to this, the said of utmost importance for all seafarers is to take good care of their health both at home and at work so that they can uh, do that in ways of regular exercising adopting health, uh, healthy diets balanced diets and avoiding excessive consumption of alcohol and smoking so how do we protect seafarers so rapid defibrillation is a process which is done through these automated external defibrillators. Uh, these can support life in case it's applied between one minute, they can revive you back in 90% chances. You've got 90% of chances in one minute if you apply a defibrillation shock. Within five minutes, it's 70%, and after these five minutes, it drops down 10% per minute. In regards to this for the uh, uh, history, the first country which uh, adopted the AEDs on board the vessels was the flag of uh, Germany, the country of Germany, which uh, made it legislation and required that all vessels should have an AED on board a ship. So we have now passenger ferries, cruise liners and um, the merchant ferries and the merchant vessels which are picking up uh, they have also these devices uh, on board the ship and they're very, very helpful. Not to forget to mention that wherever you go ashore, you may find in um, sport events or in hospitals, which in hospitals they should have them, uh, but in many, many places, including offices where people work, including our offices uh, uh, in Greece, they have inside an AED, which is very, very uh, important to have and may uh, help out, may uh, revive you in case needed. So uh, the defibrillator uh, on board consists of the following equipment, which I'll go through. First of all, the most important thing is for the uh, uh, persons on board to read and to feel confident in the operation of the defibrillator, to read the user manual and understand that this equipment on board the ship should be used inside the accommodation, not outside, uh, because let's say for a gas carrier, uh, this is a shock, this is a shock and it passes through electricity. So it's not permitted to be applied outside on deck, should be done inside the hospital. So you've got the user guide, you've got a very um, uh, small but very helpful uh, way of uh, procedure of how to start the equipment which is here and you've got the following equipment you've got the pads which are two pads inside this uh, small bag and there are uh, two or three inside each vessel so you've got those you've got the uh, main machine unit which is located inside as described on my video you've got the main battery 
which is here, which basically consists of a 9 volt battery, which should state the expiry date and should be checked every month as per uh, maintenance system schedule, and we have to check on that. And you will have the first aid kit. So, most important, the first aid kit is the kit that you'll need to uh, remove uh, and work on this one first. So, inside here, you'll find gloves where you'll need to wear. I'll bring them all out. So, uh, here you've got a sterile uh, wound. Uh, cleansing where you can clean the wound. Here you've got the uh, gauzes, the swabs where you can clean the area. This is the uh, uh, resuscitating face shield where you can provide air on a mouth to mouth breathe. This is a plastic bag which goes over the face and only uh, leaves your uh, mouth available in order to uh, breathe and provide him air. These are the gloves that you'll need to wear. Another pair of swaps. The scissors. The reason of the scissors are, I'll tell you, in case of a person is wearing a coverall, you, it's not easy to remove it. So it's very simple. You remove the scissors and you start cutting his clothes off. And um, especially if it's soaked, just remember you will need to remove all of his clothing and you will need to um, uh, remove all the sweat from his body as much as possible. So coming to that, hairy uh, people require a shave. So in the area where you're going to apply the pads, you will need to shave, which is basically on the upper right part and the uh, uh, left hand side part, you will need to shave them and apply the pads. So that's done in regards to the uh, first aid kit. And let's move on now to see how the uh, system works. So I'll put these aside, I'll put them here on the chair. So we've got the uh, pads, you've got these two pins here, you put them in this position inside, these are fitted, that's done. So then you've got the battery, you'll put it on the side, upper part with the uh, elements on the upper part, Place it inside. That's it. Performing battery pack self test. It does. Battery pack okay. So that's okay. So it's done the uh, self test. You leave it as it is. So when you will need to uh, apply, as I said, um, uh, the AED uh, in operation, you will need to remove the uh, pads. You will need to place them one here, one here, and then the system. You will switch it on and it will analyze if there is any heartbeat on the uh, person who is uh, uh, requiring or not requiring a shock. So this will analyze if there is a requirement of applying a shock and it will advise you when to do that and of course it will advise you to keep clear from the patient, meaning you should not touch the patient, you should not be uh, on a water surface uh, where uh, it is a connection between you and him because in case it's uh, water down on the floor this shock will be also passed to you and of course you will have the shock which is not correct so remember it has to be a nice and dry and flat space where you will apply it so then you apply the uh, shock and eventually um, he comes back to life hopefully uh, you may apply the shock as long as you want to. I've heard of uh, cases of 30 minutes of applying continuously shock and eventually um, he managed to, uh, they managed to survive him, to revive him. Uh, but it's also very important during the shocks when you've got the uh, time and the system is monitoring them uh, to apply uh, air to give him oxygen in order to keep his brain uh, working and his body as much as possible working. So remember that you'll need to uh, breathe and to follow the uh, normal CPR procedures which are well adopted worldwide. So defibrillator can also be used for children uh, to the year of uh, up to eight years old. Um, the pads will need to be applied on the
bit, one on the forward part of the chest and one on the back, on the uh, back side. So remember that because that's not usually said and if you're working or if you're in an area where children may be uh, present and there's an issue in regards to a cardiovascular disease so it's most important that you apply uh, the pads correctly which is one in front here as I said in front of the chest and one right back on the back side exactly in the same position where the heart is so that's uh, to children up to eight years old so guys uh, I believe I covered the topic in regards to the uh, defibrillator, the AED, the uh, automatic, automated external defibrillator which uh, is available uh, most probably on board your ship. So it's a good opportunity to uh, spare some time and uh, have a look on that and uh, get trained in regards to the operation of it. And uh, additionally I would like to mention that it's a very very good practice to uh, exercise on board as far as possible to the extent as possible take into account the weather conditions because you cannot go on the treadmill when the ship is rolling or pitching and be careful with the weights, don't overdo it just try and do some uh, aerobic uh, exercise which will help you out and of course uh, watch what you eat and uh, consume five a day at least uh, fruits which are very very good for you and um, yeah stay fit uh, till next time I hope you like the video and uh, please write on the comment section below and uh, hopefully I will reply to you back to all the seafarers out there. I wish you good seas and hopefully next week we'll be back with a new episode. Take care. Bye-bye.